Hi there, this is Sean Webb and I'm here with Mike Granado and we're with Athletic Motion Golf. In this video we're going to talk about pressure in the feet as it relates to the backswing. Let's jump in and take a look. So Mike, why don't you take us through that? Yeah, so a really simple concept that we use all the time is if I'm using the camera as my target, when I'm going in the backswing and I've got the club head as far away from the target as it can be, that's when my pressure should be as far away from the target as it can be. So as much into this right foot when the club's somewhere right in here. The, the pro window is right here to right here with the left arm. Then as it starts to swing back towards the target, right, as it starts to swing back towards the target, I'm starting to kind of drift over because the club's slowing down now. I'm kind of recentering myself. And some players, this is more noticeable than others, but they're all doing this kind of recentering move so they can get that magic spot on the downswing. Perfect. So, Mike, tie that into other athletic movements in other sports for, say, like a, a throw. How yeah. does that tie into that? So, we've all probably thrown a ball some point in our life. You load up on this back foot, this arm is still going back, and then you start to shift forward well before the arm completes. So, the movement of the pressure is way ahead of the club arm movement, and then you release it off the front foot. We don't really see many athletes kind of loading back up in here and then starting to throw, pivoting around this back foot. It's just not very athletic. So would you say that, that the feeling of getting the pressure to move right early and into the left foot, is that, more, is that a timing aspect to the swing? 100%. It's just okay. an athletic timing that we see football, basketball, baseball, tennis, any of these sports, there's a, there's a timing to walking. You fall into the front foot before you pick this foot up, right? There's a timing to the throw. It's, it's, it's timing. It's, we've got one second in the golf swing. The timing's off. It's going to be bad. So how does that relate to where you'd like to see the pressure in the feet from front to back? So often, so I, ideally, we want to see with this trail foot, right foot for most golfers, kind of the pressure at max right under the ankle bone is kind of a really good spot. So not really deep into the heel, but also not out towards the toe. So ankle bone to where the shoelaces are. That's a really good spot. Then as far as the left foot goes, we want to see pressure come out of the heel in the backswing. So it doesn't have to be this move. It can be for a lot of golfers. If flexibility is an issue, you can certainly do this, but it also can be as subtle as this. And that gives us a place to move to. When we see golfers, the most common pattern is when golfers load, I'm exaggerating it, but they load pressure into both heels. This club starts moving around, then they fire this way. And that's the early extension, the club dumping under all those nasty things that we get when that left to right balance gets off. You know, and I'll tie into that with something in my own swing. I have a tendency to get into my right heel, which causes my pelvis to overturn, which gets my pressure in a spot where I can't get it far enough to the right. So uh, as we look at pressure patterns in the, in the feet, if you have some issues up the chain, per se, with your pelvis or torso, you may have to look at the ground and how your feet are interacting with the ground to Absolutely. make some of those changes, wouldn't you say? So our only two connections in the golf swing are in our feet and are in our hands. And if, especially when we're talking about moving fast, moving explosively, if, the, if our feet, our connection with the ground is off, where it takes more time to go deep into that heel and then come out of that heel, you know, again, we're bound by basically a second in the golf swing to, to compile all these movements. When we start chewing it up, coming out of bad positions, there's not enough time left to make really good, consistent club ball contact. Absolutely. So we want you to start playing around with those concepts, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you in the next video where we start talking about the downswing. Thanks again for watching. Pull your phone out. Go film your backswing. Give us an idea of what your pressure is moving. Maybe we can help you improve that if you see a flaw in there. Subscribe. Click on the big golf ball below. You'll get part three just as soon as she comes out.